10 days and counting before the big day. We're talking about Christmas, of course, and local retailers are determined to provide the public with peace of mind as they're present this holiday shopping season. Michelle Nix is live in Strongsville at South Park Mall on how those retailers plan on making that happen. Michelle. Good evening, Chris. As you said, just 10 days until Christmas, and some shopping malls are extending their hours for Christmas holiday shopping. They want to ensure that their customers are happy and in the Christmas spirit, and in order to do that, they need to keep them safe. As shoppers pack the South Park Mall in Strongsville on the hunt for the perfect Christmas gifts, Santa has no shortage of helpers. Okay, let's okay. escort the young lady to her car. These friendly guys are not Santa's elves, but volunteers in police service, better known as VIPs for the Strongsville Police Department, graduates of the Citizens Police Academy. We hope you have a nice Christmas. Duke, a former colonel in the U.S. Air Force, volunteers along with others to escort shoppers with children and their hands full of presents safely to their cars. We're just here tonight to escort any shoppers that may feel a little apprehensive about going out to their cars uh, to make sure they get safely to their vehicles and have a good holiday. An added layer of security armed only with watchful eyes, ears, and a police radio. We'll work in pairs and we take them out to their vehicle and uh, we're in contact with the dispatch center at all times so they know what we're up to and where we're going and how long we've been out. Okay. So. Uh, an officer is a simple radio call away. This is the first night for the escort program at South Park, but Beachwood Mall and Great Southern Mall tell me they also escort customers to their cars. So what do customers think about this? Uh, appreciation is real and um, all I can tell you is it makes everything safer. That's a great thing. So if you're at the South Park Mall, look for the escorts with an office in the food court Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday through Christmas Eve. Security added not because of a safety issue, but to prevent one. Well, we all know that uh, crime, unfortunately, crime has been rampant and, ra and ramping up in a lot of our cities. Thankfully, Strongsville has not been affected that much, and we hope to keep it that way. Reporting in Strongsville. First, fair, everywhere. Michelle Nix, 19 News.